boys and girls and welcome to sunday service i'm so glad that you guys are all here sorry i actually just i hurt my bone and it hurts a lot it hurts really bad <sighs> well actually do you guys know what a bone is no okay okay well i'm not gonna use this arm but let's practice here i want you guys to do this with me you guys see how my elbow is out and my hand is touching my back i want you to get your finger and I want you to press really hard, press really hard. Do you guys feel that hard thing? Press really hard. Yeah, that hard thing is your bone. And did you guys know that you have over 200 bones inside your body? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that fascinating? Well, I just hurt my bone right here. Ouch. Well, actually, all this talk about bones is reminding me of our Bible story today. In our Bible story today, God gave Ezekiel a vision, and in this vision, he saw bones. Hmm. Well, let's watch this video and learn more about Ezekiel's vision.
God gave Ezekiel a vision. In this vision, God took Ezekiel to a valley. The valley was filled with old, dry bones. Ezekiel walked through the valley. God asked Ezekiel, can these bones come to life? Ezekiel said, God, only you know if these bones can come to life. God told Ezekiel, talk to these bones for me. Say, dry bones, hear what God says. I will give you breath and you will come to life. I will give you a body. Then you will know that I am God. Ezekiel did what God said. He began to talk to the bones. All of a sudden, there was a rattling noise. The bones were moving and coming together like God had said, but the bones had no breath. God said to Ezekiel, talk to the breath for me. Say, this is what God says. Breath, come into these bones, make them alive. Ezekiel did what God said. He talked to the breath and the breath went into the bones. The bones came to life and a big army stood up in front of Ezekiel. God told Ezekiel what was happening. God said, my people are like these bones. They think they are dried up. They do not think they have a future. I want you to talk to my people for me. God's people had been taken from their homes. They were living in other countries and working for other kings. God's people were sad. God told Ezekiel what to say to the people of Israel. Say, I am going to bring my people back to the land of Israel. I will give them life in their own land and they will know that I am God. Then God told Ezekiel to pick up two sticks. The first stick was for the people of Judah and the second stick was for the people of Israel. Ezekiel held the two sticks together in one hand, so they were like one stick. God said that he was going to bring Judah and Israel back together. They would not be two separate nations anymore. They would be one nation. God's people were also going to get a new king. This new king would be like a shepherd. God promised that his people would go home to their land and they would never be taken away again. I will be with them, God said. I will be their God and they will be my people. God showed Ezekiel a valley. It was full of dead bones. When we disobey God, we are like those dead bones. But God gave us Jesus to take away our sin. When we turn from sin and trust Jesus, he gives us life so we can be with God forever. Today we're learning about Ezekiel. God gave Ezekiel a vision and in this vision, Ezekiel saw bones. But boys and girls, I have a question for you guys. Are bones alive? Hmm. Well, let me tell you, bones are not alive, but God did something amazing. God brought these bones back to life and they were breathing. Boys and girls, bones can't breathe unless they have bodies like us. But God is truly powerful and God is truly amazing that God brought the bones back to life and the bones were breathing just like we are. Boys and girls, God wanted Ezekiel to tell this vision to the people who used to live in Judah. They used to live in Judah, but not anymore because a bad king came. He took all the people and put them in jail and forced them to work for him. Obviously, the people who used to live in Judah are really sad. Imagine not being able to go home and imagine being forced to work for a super bad king. But if God is powerful enough, if God is strong enough to bring bones back to life, to make, uh, to make bones breathe again, then God is telling them that God is going to help them. Even though they're very sad right now, 
And even though they're having a very hard time, God is telling them that he will help them and that he will bring them back to their homes. Boys and girls, whenever we feel sad or whenever we feel like we need help, then we can pray to God and ask him for help. Just like how God is going to help the people who used to live in Judah, God will help us. God is so powerful. God can bring just bones back to life. So boys and girls, whenever you guys are scared, whenever you guys are sad, or whenever you guys need help, always remember that we can pray to God. And let's actually practice that right now. Let's put our hands together, let's close our eyes, and let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for bringing me and all of my friends to Sunday service. We learned about the vision you gave Ezekiel and how you brought bones to life. God, you're truly amazing and you are truly powerful and you are so strong. God, that vision was meant for the people who used to live in Judah. They were sad because they couldn't go home. They were sad because they were in a hard situation. But God, you are telling them that you will help them and you will bring them back home. So God, whenever we feel sad, just like the people in Judah, whenever we feel like we need help, we can pray to you and ask you because you will help us and you are a strong God who can bring bones back to life. So thank you. We love you and we worship you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Everybody says, Amen. All right, amen, boys and girls. Let's remember, the story is not just that God can bring bones back to life, but it's that God is strong and God is powerful and that whenever we need help, God can help us. So whenever we're sad or whenever we need help, let's remember we can always pray to God. All right. Thank you, boys and girls. And I hope to see you guys next week. Bye, guys.
We're gonna jump.